friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about word problems that have to do with area and perimeter. So we're going to be talking about both of those today. So our learning goal for today says, I can solve word problems involving area and perimeter using all four operations. So that might mean that in some problems we're going to multiply, some problems we're going to divide, some problems we're going to add, some problems we're going to subtract, but we're going to be using all of the different operations throughout our lesson today. Okay, so the materials that you need for this lesson are your problem set. We are going to do the um, two out of the three problems on your problem set. So make sure that you have that before we get started. So today, again, we're going to be solving word problems with area and perimeter. So we're going to have to pay close attention because we've been doing a lot of work with um, perimeter, but now you're going to see area thrown back in again in this word problem. So make sure that you're paying close attention so you're answering the question that's being asked. Okay, so remember to use the RDW process, which again is read the problem, draw and label a picture, and write a number of sentences and a statement. Okay, so let's get started with problem one. It says Gia measures her rectangular garden and finds the width is nine yards and the length is seven yards. So A in your problem set says estimate to draw Gia's garden and label the side lengths. Well, friends, it's telling you in the problem what the shape is, and it's telling you the side lengths. So you guys should be able to draw a picture of this garden, no problem. So go ahead and pause the video, draw a picture of Gia's garden, label the side lengths, and then click play when you're ready to go over to get or to go over together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's Gia's garden that I drew. I'm getting again. Remember, it's not perfect; it's just an estimate. So it's nine yards, opposite sides are equal. So that's why I'm labeling both of the right side and the left side first. And then the length is seven yards. Now remember, as you're doing this, it's telling you that it's a rectangular garden. So that means your shape should be a rectangle. Okay, so make sure that yours looks similar. All right, so now let's look at B on your problem set. It says, what is the area of Gia's garden? So friends, is question B, is it asking us to find the area or the perimeter? Yeah, it's asking us to find the area, okay? So remember how we find the area. Are we gonna add the side lengths or are we going to multiply the length and the width? How do we find the area? So I want you to pause the video. I want you to write out an equation and solve for the area of Gia's garden and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so we're finding the area, and area means you need to multiply length times width. So we are going to multiply nine yards times seven yards. And I know my trick with my nines, so nine times seven is 63 yards. So to write a statement for that would be the area is 63 yards. So make sure that you're getting specific with your problem set where you're giving me that statement at the end. Okay. Sometimes I look at the problem sets and I'm not sure what the final answer is. So make sure that you are writing that statement. All right, let's look at part C. It says, what is the perimeter of Gia's garden? So friends, are we solving for the area or the perimeter for part C? Yeah, the perimeter, right? It tells us that. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to solve for the perimeter of Gia's garden. Now that means we know that we did the area that was multiplying, okay? So I want you guys to be thinking about what operation do we need to be doing to be solving for the perimeter. Remember, the perimeter is all four sides, it's not just two, it's all four sides. Okay, so pause the video, write an equation and a statement to find the perimeter of Gia's garden, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's my equation. Nine yards plus nine yards plus seven yards plus seven yards equals my unknown perimeter. So I'm gonna combine my nine plus nine, which equals 18. Then I'm gonna combine my seven plus seven, which is 14. And then I have to combine both of those. So 18 plus 14. So start in the ones place, eight plus four is 12. 
So that's two ones and one ten. And then I'm going to add my tens, which is three. Okay, so 32 yards is the perimeter. So to write that in a statement, I would say the perimeter is 32 yards. Okay, all right, so we have solved all of the parts for problem one. So now we're going to jump to problem three. You're going to end up doing problem two on your own, but we're going to do problem three together. So this problem says the area of Mason's rectangular painting is 72 square inches. The width of the painting is 8 inches. Part A says estimate to draw Mason's painting and label the side lengths. Now, remember, it's telling you that the area of Mason's rectangular painting is 72 square inches. And then it's telling us that we know that the width is 8 inches. So really, you kind of need to figure out what the length is, right? So think again about areas, length times width. So how can we use that to help us solve for the side length to be able to make a drawing? Okay, so pause the video, create your drawing, label your side lengths, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so we know, again, that area equals length times width, okay? Well, if I plug my numbers in from this problem, it's telling me that Mason's rectangular painting is 72 square inches. So that's why I replaced my area with 72. My length is unknown so far in this problem, but I do know that the width is 8 inches. It told me all of that information in my problem. So really, my problem is 72 equals length times 8. Well, I know that if I have my multiplication, I can skip count by 8 until I get to 72, or I could do 72 divided by 8. So I choose to do 72 divided by 8, and that tells me that my length is 9. So now I can come over and I can actually draw my rectangle. I know that the width is 8 inches, and the length is 9 inches. So this is about what your rectangle should look like. All right, so let's look at part B. It says, what is the length of the painting? Well, friends, you can pause the video and solve that, but we kind of already did that in this part of the problem to find our side lengths, right? So if you know, then keep on playing. If you need to look back at your work to figure out what the length is, then pause and do that. All right, friends, so what is the length of the painting? Yeah, it's nine, right? The length is nine inches. Writing that statement clarifies the answer to the question, what is the length of the painting? Okay. All right, so let's look at part C. It says, what is the perimeter of Mason's painting? So you guys are going to pause the video. You're going to find the perimeter of Mason's painting. Remember, you know all of the side lengths now, so this part should be a piece of cake. Okay, so pause the video, find the perimeter, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. All right, so here is my equation. 9 inches plus 9 inches plus 8 inches plus 8 inches. Okay, those are all of my side lengths, and I'm going to add those to find the perimeter. So 9 plus 9 equals 18, and 8 plus 8 equals 16. Now I have to combine those two numbers to be able to find the total perimeter. So I would have 18 plus 16. So 8 plus 6 is 14, and 3 tens in, or 3 ones in the tens place is 3 tens. So Mason's, the perimeter um, of Mason's painting is 34 inches. Okay, all right, so good job with that one, friends. Let's look at part D, okay? It says Mason's mom hangs the painting on a wall that already has two of Mason's other paintings. The areas of the other paintings are 64 inches or 64 square inches and 81 square inches. What is the total area of the wall that is covered with Mason's paintings? Friends, I don't know about you, but that's a wordy question, right? So all it's saying is you just have to think about what's the, the question. The question is says, what is the total area of the wall that is covered with Mason's paintings? So go back to part D, find the two other paintings areas it tells us, and don't forget to use the area that's given in the first part of the problem of 72 square inches, okay? 
So you're combining those areas to find a total area. So pause the video, find the total area of the wall that is covered with Mason's paintings and click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's what I did. I circle or underline some information, okay? So the area of Mason's rectangular painting is 72 square inches. Then when I come to part D, it tells me the areas of the other paintings are 64 square inches and 81 square inches. Well, if I want to find the total, I just need to add those together. So I have 72, 64, and 81. All of that information, I didn't even have to solve anything else. It came right from those parts of the problem. Okay, so now I start in the ones place. 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 7. Then I move to the tens place with 7 plus 6 is 13. And 13 plus 8 is 21. So the total area of the wall that is covered with Mason's painting, it paintings is 217 square inches. Okay, so hopefully you guys got that part of the problem too. If any parts in problems one and three were tricky to you, go back and look at the parts again in this video. You can always rewind and look at other parts. That's what the video is there to help you do. Okay, so sweet. You guys did a great job solving word problems with area and perimeter. My key information for you guys is you have to make sure you're reading the problems carefully because if you're not reading them carefully, you're going to end up solving for the wrong piece of information. Okay, so make sure you're taking your time. You're remembering that area is length times width. Perimeter is you're adding all of the sides to find the total or the total perimeter. So just make sure you're taking your time. Okay, so please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. Look very closely at that page because it's going to tell you that you don't have to do a certain problem. So make sure that you look closely. Okay, so if you need help with anything, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.